Hi guys, this is Jessica from the Healing Hands Duo and today I'm going to be doing an organics review video. I recently reached out to a company by the name of Organic Aromas and I had asked them if they'd be willing to send me a free essential oils diffuser to do a review on my channel. I didn't know that they would send me one but they went ahead and they agreed to do it so long as I did a review on this channel and like I said I'm really excited because I've been holding on to this for about four weeks now because I wanted to do this unboxing with you guys. So if you guys are interested please do stay tuned until after the intro and join me in the unboxing of the Organic Aromas White Raindrop 3.0. From what I understand, they only released this version that I'm going to be opening right now back in December. And this is the MagSafe, sorry, the MagSafe Style 3.0 version. So it's got a snap away magnetic cord. So if you hit the cord, it snaps away so that the essential oils diffuser doesn't have the chance of toppling onto the ground and of course breaking the glass. And the one that I got was specifically, of course, the white raindrop 3.0. I really wanted this one because as you guys can tell, my whole house is white and I'm obsessed with white. So I really wanted this one. I didn't think that they would send it to me, like I said before, because it is a brand new version and it was just coming out at the time. But I spoke to the customer service over there and one of the gentlemen that I spoke to, he's absolutely amazing. He was amazing to deal with, amazing to talk to. And he agreed to go ahead and send me one. Okay, so here we go, guys. Opening up the box. And as you can see, it's a fairly large box. And you can see there it says organic aromas. It's upside down, so I hope I'm not really going to be opening this upside down. This is where the shipping label was. So just a few things about this essential oils diffuser that really appealed to me, like I said, is it's made out of glass. And from what I understand, the base is made out of recycled rubber tree plantation wood. So it contains very little waste. Um, so I really love that about it and the glass of course was really appealing to me as well Because it just never made any sense to me that people would go ahead and spend all this money on essential oils And then you would put it into a cheap essential oils diffuser like the one that I've got down there That actually wasn't cheap I paid over a hundred dollars for that essential oils diffuser because the outside is made of ceramic But once you open it up the actual internal reservoir to hold the essential oils and the water is made of plastic and as you all know, water and oil don't mix. So what ends up happening is the essential oils end up kind of floating around the top and sticking to the side of the plastic. And like the gentleman pointed out to me is, I don't know if many of you are aware of the fact that because essential oils are very potent, they can actually eat away at plastic. So you can only imagine that if those essential oils are sticking to the plastic, eating away at that and then getting into the water and then you're diffusing that into the air, what is it that you're really breathing now? Are we breathing essential oils or whatever else is in that plastic, unfortunately? It doesn't contain any water. That's another thing I really loved about it because the one thing that I have an issue with is I use a lot of essential oils in my house. And if your house has got too much humidity in it, I've always worried about having mold build up. But that is something to worry about if your house is already humid and you do suffer with um, any type of mold allergies or have an issue or are prone to getting mold sickness. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They told me that they were going to send me a bunch of their um, essential oils to try out. I was actually skeptical, skeptical of their essential oils uh, originally, but when I reached out to them, because I was like not certain if their oils were organic. I do know now that some of them are organic. And the gentleman was nice enough to point out the fact that all of their essential oils have their GCMS reports. So you'll see that their, all of their oils have really tested really well for purity. I really didn't even know that they were gonna send this to me, so I'm really excited. He did send me, he told me he was gonna send me one. Um, he was gonna send me at least one for free, an essential oil to try out, but it looks like they went ahead and they sent me an entire um, package of them. I can already smell it, They're, it smells delightful. So, okay, so let's open this up. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh wow, I am so super excited. Guys, I hope you guys can see that. So this is their discovery collection and this gets you, this is a whole entire package here. Again, I will post on the screen what this costs right here, but I did not think it was going to include this many essential oils. I am completely awestruck by this. Like 
I did not even expect to get this many of them. Oh my gosh, so what do we have here? Again, the bottles are really small here. So they all just really cute little tiny bottles here and I will post how big these are, but these are more than large enough to be able to, you know, test them out here. So this one here is tea tree. I've got uh, bergamot, eucalyptus, grapefruit, lavender, ylang ylang, sweet wine. Oh my gosh, I got some citronella, jasmine. If you guys wanted to try out this many essential oils, I like honestly, this is the way to go. I'm just going to read off the side here so that you guys can understand how this essential oils nebulizer works. Uh, it just says here, this aromatherapy diffuser operates by using the Bernoulli, Bernoulli's, Bernoulli's, again, I can't pronounce that correctly, so I'm just going to put this across the screen right here so that you guys can see that. This uses the Bernoulli's principle to turn pressurized essential oil into a mist of extremely fine micro droplets 1.5 to 5 micrometers diameter that are most easily absorbed by the body the product works without adding heat or water thus conserving all the original properties of the essential oil so let's go ahead and open up this baby more foam so very well packaged so it's got more of this black foam here what is this okay guys so i'm collaborating with organic aromas on this one and you guys could possibly win your own essential oils diffuser if you want to know how just look down below and follow the description it has all of the details there to enter into the competition and possibly win one of these for yourself they are very gorgeous so you don't want to miss out on this opportunity There are two plastic pipettes here, and these are used for cleaning solutions. I think you're supposed to use it a couple times and then clean out the glass reservoir with this. I will link to a video up here in the right hand corner uh, so that you guys can see how to properly clean this. I did find somebody else that was cleaning it on YouTube, so you guys can have it there. Okay, I'm gonna open up the base first. Ooh, pretty. So the base comes here in this little velvety, this black velvet uh, pouch here. Okay, so this is my base. And I'm assuming that's the on and off dial there. Yep, the on and off dial. And then from what I understand, I think this has a light and I think you just have to go touch over top of the light and it'll turn it off and on just by touching it like that. So so this is the, the magnetic cord here, as you guys can see there. There is actually no real plug-in, it's just a magnetic cord here. And so the way that that would work is from what I understand, did you see that? Did you guys see that? It just basically snaps into place. So the thing is, is you do want to keep this away from any major electronics that would cause an issue with magnets because this is magnetic. And so the idea, I guess, is if you were to hit it, it would just fall away so that that way the cord could fall away from the base. So the one thing that I did reach out to them about, because I am really anal about the aesthetics of things in my house, was specifically this cord. The fact that this cord is black. And it was so funny because before I even had a chance to say anything, the gentleman that I was speaking to, he had actually reached out to me and said, Are, is it going to drive you nuts that this cord is black? And I said, well, I would still be interested in the diffuser. I wasn't going to completely ixnay the idea of it if this cord wasn't white. But what he did go ahead and tell me is that in this new year, so in 2020, they are coming out with a white cord as well. But again, if that doesn't bother you, this is the cord that it comes with. All right, and that's the MagSafe cord that we were talking about. So this is considered an upgrade compared to the other essential oils diffusers that they carry. So I'm gonna put this aside. So then what I've got here is the little glass reservoir here. You guys can see it says, need help, contact us. And that's the glass reservoir there. You're supposed to kind of put it into the base like this and kind of like twist it in. Just kind of twist it in like that. And from what I understand, that's that. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult. The essential oils diffuser actually comes with a sample bottle of their signature blend. They gave me another little dropper, a glass dropper here. And then, I think that's it, yes. Okay, so this is the little glass topper 
so that you could cap off the diffuser. So that's the little glass topper there. So that's kind of what the whole thing looks like there. And I think I'm gonna use the, um, the sample that came with the bottle and I think I'm only gonna use about 10 drops. It does recommend that you use about 20 to 25 drops in the essential oils diffuser. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna see that here but I will try to zoom in. As if you can see there, it says to make sure that you keep it below those two. You're not gonna fill this all up anyways. Like I said, 20 to 25 drops is really gonna barely even touch those two glass rods in there, but you just wanna make sure that you stay below those two little, um, those glass tubes in there. And it does caution you to make sure that if you get any essential oils on the outside of the glass to wipe it up immediately, because of how, because of course the essential oils are not um, are not diluted. So if it does get on this white base with the paint, it actually can strip the paint right off that. So you don't want to do that. So I've gone ahead and I put about 10 drops in the bottom. I'm going to cap it off here with the little, um, the glass cap there. And I've gone ahead and I've already plugged in the cord. And now I'm just going to attach the cord here to the magnetic strip here. And wow, that's super easy. Did you see how easy that went in? So just goes like that. From what I understand is you turn it on with this dial here. And what you have here is that if you want it to disperse more oils into the air, you just go all the way to the right like that. And if you don't want it to release that much and you want to keep it on low, then you just leave it all the way to the left. So all the way to the right is full, full, um, full potency and then all the way to the left is not. Then from what I understand, this actually activates the light here. So it's just a little tap here, tap sensor. I'm gonna put it on full so that you guys can see how it's dispersing the oils. It's gonna be very difficult to see this because like I said before, this is not we're not dispersing any water here, so this is just pure nebulizing essential oils into the air. So I'm gonna put the light on. I wanna be able to show you guys what's happening in the, um, in the glass tube here. I'm gonna keep it on. I'm just gonna turn off the light so that you guys can see how this looks. That's what that looks like there. It's obviously too bright for my camera to pick up, but as you can see, I decided to do that because I really wanted you to be able to see. Okay, so you see what it just did there? It just shut off. So what this does, it nebulizes for two minutes and then it shuts off. From what I understand, it nebulizes for two minutes and then it shuts off for a minute and then it nebulizes for two minutes. And the reason for that is because this is nebulizing pure essential oils. So if you nebulized it continuously, it would be too powerful and too strong. It just kicked back in. So I don't know if you guys can see this mist, this kind of very soft mist that it gives off. I'm gonna actually just even remove the lid so that you can see it a little bit better. And wow, that's amazing. Oh, that gives such a great smell. Ooh, kind of looks like a, looks like I'm making some potions around here. Come to me, come to me. <laughs> kind of cool.
Okay, so that wraps up today's organic reviews video. Again, guys, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll leave all the information to organic aromas down below so you guys can check them out. And I guess there's nothing else to be said other than I love you guys all so much, and thank you so much for once again joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. recording are we already recording we are i need new lights people i need new lights lights camera action okay